Hi friends, it's reading vlog time. Side note, I am filming this intro way after all of the clips that you will see in the vlog because it's like a week later and I went to edit and was like, you never filmed an intro or an outro. Way to go you. So here we are filming an intro. This weekend, this past weekend, I decided that I wanted to try to pick up on some of the spooky mid-grade books that I didn't get to during my 31 books in 31 days of October uh, because I didn't read 31 books in October, who knew? I decided that I wanted to pick up some of my mid-grade spooky books and try to read as many of those in the weekend as I could. There were 10 of them on the list and they are the remaining five books of the Creepover series by PJ Knight that I haven't read yet and also the next five books in the Sarah Normal series by Phoebe Rivers. Well I guess you'll just have to follow along and see how I do. Love to know. Diane I think we should try. We should try to use Sprint if we can if it doesn't kill my computer as Discord was trying. Alvin got 6k last Sunday and then slowly dropped. So as you can tell from that little update, I have been getting in my words for Nano with Kate. She's doing a five hour stream today on her Patreon because she hit 500 Patreons. And so I got all my words in for the day. I'm probably gonna do at least one more sprint later with Julie from Pages and Pens. She's doing a productivity sprint later. So I'll probably do one more writing sprint later just to bump up my words and now I'm going to start on these babies so I'm gonna start with these ones because they're older they've been on the shelves longer but I'm gonna read them out of order because they have like a creepometer on the back these two are rated three these two are rated fours, and this one actually shows the back is broken. And it's a super scary, super special. So I'm gonna read them in order of creepiness as like a side experiment to see if they actually get creepier as you go. So that's where I'm headed. I guess I'm gonna start with together forever. Lunch time. So I'm still reading together forever. I'm um, having a turkey sandwich and some Cheez-Its snapped and these are the sour cream and onion flavor and they're delicious. So let's try. So I just finished Together Forever. It was just okay. It wasn't great. Nothing special. Kind of predictable. Not real spooky but it was a three on the spooky meter so fair enough. I'm gonna read the next one which is what a doll. Uh, I'm not reading the synopses of these anymore, but it's still pretty funny that you could tell pretty much what the whole thing's about just by the cover. So going to head into this and I will update you shortly. And I saw a couple of, of latecomers that were able to join the sprint as we got going, which was fantastic. I don't know. It... <sighs> Was reading a bunch of mid-grade books back-to-back -back a good idea? I don't know, guys. This one was actually way more interesting than the first one. It felt a lot longer, too. But definitely more interesting. <sighs> Not really creepier, but it had a different feel. And I liked it. Uh, the ending was... Had, the other one had like a really kind of twist ending too and this one kind of had a twist ending as well not what I expected the other I expected this one not so much I don't know it is interesting because like technically these all say that it's there by PJ Knight but I found out when I was started reading the Sarah Normal series by Phoebe Rivers that these are actually just pseudonyms that are written by a bunch of ghost writers so I guess it just depends on who wrote the book what I should do when I'm finished with both series, I should look and see who wrote the books that I liked and then see if it's like the same ones. I should do that too. It's a good idea. Okay, so those were my two three scaries. I've got two four scaries, which are Don't Drink the Punch, which looks good, 
and read it and weep, which looks creepy AF. So I think I'm going to start with Don't Drink the Punch and then do Read It and Weep. And then we'll go to the super scary special later. Yeah, that's the plan. This one was really good. I liked this a lot. It's a, a four scary, like a sleep. If they say the four is sleep with the lights on. I really liked this one. It was like witchy and spooky and uh the epilogue of this one was really good the others like the epilogues have been kind of meh but this one like had a really good epilogue i really liked the morals in this one this was probably my favorite one of these that i've read and again the asshole comes to move the tripod stand is this just gonna be a thing with all of the vlogs do you guys want to go into the out oh Ugh. Ugh. okay get down this was amazing. I loved it. Three down, two to go today. Because I'm going to try to read those other two tonight and then read the five Sarah normal ones tomorrow. Is that crazy? That might be crazy. I don't know. It's only 7.30, but I need to go make dinner. So I was going to go make dinner, but instead I opened my email and I got some emails from Jenna at Jenna Strudy, who I will link down below. Hold on, wait. I also moved my chair. So I got some emails from Jenna and it's for the beta process for Spaceborn, which I have read before like a couple of years ago. Um, and it's like a whole new thing now. So I went ahead and read my three chapters of Spaceborn and answered my questionnaire and filled all that out because like I am so hype about this project. You don't even understand. So now I'm going to go make dinner because food also, I was gonna make dinner and like have a process, but it's 8.30 and I just realized I've only ate that sandwich and crackers that I showed you uh, several hours ago. And so therefore, I still have 23 points left for the day. So I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but feeling pretty good about it either way. And now we read it and weep. So I just finished Read It and Weep and I really like this one actually. Not that it was like unpredictable or amazing, just I feel like with these two that were considered like a four scary, wasn't even necessarily that they were super more scary, but just that they had more plot and it was, it felt better thought out and and I'm yawning because it's midnight but it, it just felt like it was more put together more well thought out like there was a plot like the spooky thing was a spooky thing it had a good ending um I liked kind of the twist at the end I haven't read the super scary special super spooky book yet but so far it feels like the scarier the book's supposed to be the better the plot is which makes sense, but we'll have to read the next one to find out. Which leads me to No Trick or Treating, super scary, super special, a story so scary it broke the creepometer. The other books that I've read so far in this series have been like 110 to 130 pages, and this one is 191, so it's almost double the length as well. Is that what makes it better? I don't know, but uh, it's gonna have to wait till tomorrow because I'm gonna go to bed um, and I'll start this one tomorrow and read as many of the Sarah normals as I can get to as well. And this will be happening tomorrow. Morning, everyone. It is Sunday now, so it's gonna be time to do some more reading. I realized last night when I was getting ready for bed that I recently filmed some reorganization clips of my bookshelves and didn't have plans to like really put them in a video. I was, wasn't was sure what I was going to do with them. So I think I'm going to insert those into this video. And also in that realization realized I never actually filmed what I ended up doing. So bookshelves, let's take a peek. Hey y'all, happy Halloween. I am going to be reorganizing this mess today um, I was originally going to vlog this week, 
and film myself reorganizing this, but I just can't be bothered. I am on vacation this week and I really just don't feel like filming at all, but I felt like it would be a disservice to not at least film a before and after of this hot mess. Like, as you can see, there are just like books out front because there's no more room for them. These are going to be relocated rather than showing a prominent place on my shelves. See that handprint? Look how dirty it is. Stuff's fallen over, stacks of books over there. It's really just a hot dang mess and so I am going to be working on this project today. I also have red books over here. Um, these ones here that are multiple copies of books that I have and I think I'm going to move these back onto my shelves because I do like them I think over in the other area. Um, I don't think I'm going to touch those ones and I don't think I'm going to touch those either which are all red books but we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet but you know we'll find out together. The shelves are empty and looking okay. Pupper dogs think I'm talking to them and I'm absolutely not. I mean as empty as they're getting because like that stuff is there forever. And here's some books and some more books and some more books and some more books and some more books. There's some down there. Uh, currently they're kind of sorted by genre or contents I guess you could say. I'm not really sure how I've sorted them but uh, to figure out how to get them back on the shelves and where everything's gonna go. So yippee. In January I will probably be filming a bookshelf tour again because you know, once a year seems fair. Here they are in all their glory, minus the bottom, but you know, all of their glory. So my Susan Dinner shelf stayed pretty much the same, except I pulled over these three from the shelf on the other side. This one brought over both my 10 year anniversary editions and the UK paperback editions. Those came over for the Cassie Clare shelf. Moved my adult shelf over here and the bottom is now the sci-fi shelf. I think sci-fi was here before. No. Harry Potter was here before. Sci-fi was up there, I think. Let's see, over here I've got my mid-grade shelf and then YA paperbacks and then my Rick Riordan shelf and then fairies, fae, uh, some witches, etc. And down here is some fae, some post-apocalyptic, um, sci-fi, some fantasy. This is the books that I like but don't really fit anywhere else shelf. And then this side has Rochelle Mead which was over there on the top before but is now over here on the top. And then another Cassie Clare shelf and my YA hardbacks and also some mixed series with the paperback and the hardback. And then more YA hardbacks. These are the more fantasy versus contemporary. And then this down here is writing books, some classics, some memoirs, and some recipe books. This guy over here stayed pretty much the same. I didn't add anything to that. But we did change this one so I brought over uh, my Harry Potter books which I still love the the covers of. I love these new covers from Nerdy Ink but uh, I don't want them on my shelf that I film in front, of, in front of predominantly anymore for reasons that you all are aware of. And then some series that I like but just weren't my favorite. Um, but, you know, Divergent, Red Queen, Rebel Bell, some other things. That's it. I mean, those are all red books too, but those didn't change, so. There it is and it's beauty. I did want to mention because I am a horrible human being. Down here we have The Girl the Sea Gave Back and Well Met in the Book of the Month edition and I couldn't stand it anymore. So I had to end up buying the Well Met in paperback to match the paperback Well Played and The Girl the Sea Gave Back to match the hardback of Sky in the Deep. 
I couldn't do it anymore. I just couldn't do it. Um, book of the month books are weird shaped and I couldn't, I couldn't handle it when they are parts of series. It, it didn't work for me. Uh, one day when I buy the second book of the These Witches Don't Burn, when I buy that book, I will be buying this first book again as well. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't buy book of the month books anymore for that reason because I can't handle it. Y'all, this book, this book, it's fucking creepy. Like, mmm, creepy. I'm on page 65 right now. I'm creeped the fuck out. Not in like a a bunch of creepy stuff is happening. It's that, it's that small town thing where, you know, someone from a big city moves to a small town and there's just something off about it. And that always creeps me the fuck out. And so it's like, it's hitting like my perfect creep spot. So I'm creeped and I'm intrigued. There's like 130 pages left, so I still have a lot to go. I'm only like a third of the way into it, but I am effectively creeped. So I'm ready. Y'all, this book, like if you find this in the store, buy it. It is great. Uh, super spooky, very creepy. Absolutely loved it. Definitely my favorite of the series. I might take a look at the others that I've read from the series and see if any of those were like super scary and see what um like which ones my favorites were because I did definitely like these more progressive like the more scary they got the more I liked them so that's interesting take on it. So I definitely want to look at the other five or six that I've read and see if that's the case with those as well because this one so good. Uh, the epilogue in this one is great because sometimes like the epilogue shows you like it was that it was resolved or that it wasn't a supernatural thing or um, there's a lot of different things with the epilogues but this one is takes place 70 years later and shows you things have not changed even 70 years later and uh, yeah this one was really good. I really liked it. If you're looking for a spooky middle grade, highly recommend. It is much later in the day now though. It is 4.30. I haven't started the Sarah Normal books yet. I still have five of those that I want to read. Um, even though I've read five books this weekend, which is amazing. Um, I do want to read those five. I also already did my meal prepping. Um, I also still need to get in my words for NaNo this week. I still need to do my planner set up for this week. So I have quite a few things that I still need to do. I'll need to make dinner at some point. So I think what I'm going to do is take a pause on the reading, work on my planner stuff, get the week planned out. And then if I have, and then maybe do dinner. And I want to do sprints tonight with Julie on her channel and that should get me my words in for the day and then just whatever time's left other than that I'll work on the Sarah Normal books. I might carry it over into to, to, into tomorrow evening to finish all five of those. Um, just have to see what I decided to do. I had originally intended for this vlog to start Friday after work and have all of Friday evening as well but because my plans changed I didn't get to start until Saturday. I may just go ahead and carry over into Monday and that will give me the extra evening that I thought I was going to have. But we'll see how far I get with the rest of the evening because I already have another one planned for next weekend. Also, I need to edit the, tomorrow's video. A lot of things I need to do. So I'm gonna get busy on that stuff and then I'll head back to reading. And when I go back to reading, I get to start the Sarah Normal series. Hey y'all, welcome to Monday morning. I need an audiobook for today and Julie and Amber have been talking about, I think it's Christina's ghost, maybe Christine's ghost. And it's like a kid's spooky book and audiobooks like two hours long on normal speed. So I'm going to listen to that today uh, to have my audiobook to get me through the day and also to add another mid grade spooky. So I'm going to turn that on and see what happens. Well... <laughs> Today was not as successful as I had originally intended. I did finish Christina's Ghost this morning. Creepy, for sure. Julian, Amber were absolutely right. It is super creepy. I don't know how Julie read that as a kid. I did start the second Sarah Normal book, but I'm only on like page 30. Bedtime, as you can see, so 
I guess I'm just gonna read until I fall asleep and see where I get. And as I said in the opening clip, it has been uh, about a week. It is, I'm actually in the middle of another reading vlog now because that's the life I live. Uh, so let's talk about the books that I did finish. Essentially, as you could see through the video, I finished all five of the creepover books that I wanted to read. And I guess I could go ahead and tell you my ratings. Again, I read these in order of least scary per the creepometer on the back of the book to the most scary. And I definitely liked them more the scarier they got. So Together Forever was three stars. What a Doll was 3.25. Don't Drink the Punch was 3.75. Read It and Weep was also 3.75. And No Trick or Treating was 4.5. What I do want to say is that based off of my rating scale, which I have a weird rating scale and I will link the video for that in the description box below, 4.5 is really high and it's weird to give that to a mid-grade book, but I think this mid-grade book did everything that it was supposed to do, everything it was trying to do. I think it did an amazing job. So I feel like it fits for the story as it is. The other book I read this weekend was Christina's Ghost, which I ended up giving a 3.75 out of 5 stars. That book was real creepy. Um, that was recommended by Julie and Amber. It was, I think that was probably one of the creepiest books that I read this weekend, for sure. It's, it's definitely more, it's almost kind of grown-up spooky. Like, the stuff that the ghost was doing was real creepy. So I feel like it was a little more than you would expect from a children's book. Like, it's a children's book, not even necessarily a mid-grade. And it was way spooky. I also started reading the second book in the Sarah Normal series, Haunted Mysteries, but I never finished it. Haunted Memories, rather. So I still have all five of these to get to at some point, but that point is not now because I'm already in the middle of a new reading vlog that doesn't involve spooky mid-grade. So I think at this point I've talked about all of the books that I read. Not 100% sure. I am pretty sure I filmed myself talking about all of them. I will guess I'll figure it out during the editing process. Anything that I missed I will talk about in my monthly wrap-up, um, which is going to be a pretty long one because I'm already at like 10 books for the month. And if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments below how you felt about them, if it's something you're looking forward to, or if it's something that you enjoyed. I would love to know that. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos a few times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!